Howdy y'all and welcome back. Frank Proctor Fiber Optic Sights for the Glock 43X. Regular viewers will know that I am a big fan of Dawson Precision Chargers and I normally put those on my handguns. However, they do not make chargers for this gun. They make their regular fiber optic sights and that's the style where the rear sight is like a rampy kind of a wedge shape and that doesn't allow you to hook it on things to do one-handed manipulations and everybody knows that if you cannot do one-handed manipulations with your carry piece you will die in the streets it's science look it up so that sent me shopping for an alternative uh trigicon does make an option with a nice hooked rear sight however these frank proctors have dual set screws in the rear and I am a big fan of that. Anytime I can get set screws on my rear sight, I'm going to go with that. Also, the shipper was right over in Austin, and anytime I order things online from here in Texas, I get it in like a day or two instead of a week. So that probably played into it as well. Also, I've done Trigicon sights on like multiple different guns, so I just wanted to try something different. Uh, this has a little bit of a unique rear sight, and we'll get into that. I've already shot the installation that is at the end of this video. And if you're interested in some of my little tips and tricks on how I do sites, you are welcome to watch through that. It's a little bit long. And so I figure a lot of y'all will probably just bounce before that. So I'm putting it at the back and doing the long talky part at the front. Um, anyway, so far I like them a lot. The quality seems really solid. Uh, I like the kind of extra long fiber optic pieces that they sent along. That's kind of a plus. Uh, and so, so far, I think these are going to be a win. Obviously, I won't know till I really get them to the range and put rounds down range. But so far, I'm digging them. So let's take them over to the table and you can watch the install or you can just bounce right now. Either way, won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> so let's start off with these close up shots. There's the rear of the front sight post. Nice serrations. Everything seems to be of a good quality. And the rear, what kind of separates this? A little bit of branding there. What separates this from most of the others that I found out there are you have rear set screws, two of them, which is kind of cool. Uh, that way, if you end up having to remove much material Get the dovetail in you have just that little bit of reassurance i have had rear sights move on me when i have had to work them in or file a little bit to get them in and then turns out i kind of overshot the mark and then they end up wiggly and they're kind of ruined so that is nice again you've got rear serrations and what really really sets them apart is instead of having your standard square rear notch they call this a y notch which seems pretty self-evident right there and we will see how that works in practice once we get the sights on the slide other thing just real quick to point out is they gave really nice long fiber optic rods uh, they're substantially longer than other companies i have had in the past and I appreciate that because, you know, you'll end up cutting this off and eventually losing it and then replacing it. And so it just gives you a little more to start out with. Also, a pro tip. Anyone new to guns? Y'all old timers already know this one. But <laughs> anytime you order anything that comes with a Allen key like this, a hex key, whatever you want to call it, don't ever, 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 ever throw these away. Because eventually you will order something like these that don't come with one and then you will need one and then if you have saved them all you will have it there and sure enough i did so i have a universal tool you know a set of these that might have covered it but it's nice to just know that you have one so save just save these just do that all right another pro tip if you're going to be into guns at all at least get some kind of rear sight tool this is like the cheapest one that I could find on eBay years ago. And it's one of those deals I always say I'm going to upgrade and get a better one. And then I get lazy and I don't. And 
Then I find myself replacing sights again and wishing I had gotten a better one. And here I go again with this piece of crap, but it works. And it is much, 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 much better. I don't care what anybody says. Drifting with punches is caveman primitive shit. Don't do it. All right. So the rear is out. Also, this is some plumber's tape. It's a little heavier duty than like blue painter's tape, but that stuff works too. And let's see how this guy wants to fight me. And nope. Also, if you're gonna mess with Glocks, go ahead and pony up the whatever 15 or 20 bucks it costs to get yourself a front sight tool because that is not a thing that you're gonna, like a regular wrench isn't gonna work. So you need a dedicated tool for that. Get that out of the way. There's my replacement bits. I just need to get that off, all right. So we want these serrations at the rear. Nice oval hole, so that's easy. You don't have to think a whole lot about it. And I'm gonna take my blue lock tight. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a dab in there. It's always nice of my neighbor to fire up his Harley while I'm <laughs> making videos. Hopefully that didn't just blow your eardrums out. to Muhammad, so to speak. There we go. And a little wet wipe to mop up all of my blue Loctite. And there we go. Give it one more snug test. Yep, we're good. All right, so let's see how this rear sight wants to, if we're lucky, it will go about halfway. Make sure I have my set screws raised up so they're not interfering. Looks like they're out of the way. Back that off just a little more. Something like that, yeah. All right. Okay, so we're not going to get that halfway vibe that I really prefer. That is totally not going to happen. But we're about a third of the way. Mm, I think rather than removing material, I'm going to start with the tool and just see how it feels. If it feels like it's really, really, really fighting me, then I may adjust my plan. So let's go ahead and back this guy off. Bring that in. Line him up. Once it's fairly snug, then I'm going to go ahead and tighten the slide itself. Clean up my workspace a little. And let's see what happens here. Right away, I can tell that wants a little bit of material removed. I feel like that's going to fight me more than I want it to. I 
And that is the bonus of having the set screws. Like I said, if I overshoot the mark, I'll have those to help make sure that it stays put. Let's go ahead and tighten that. But that was a long way to go before it was gonna come out or go in. Go ahead and pop them out. And let's back up and adjust this plan of action. All right, so with a little bit of filing, I was able to slide that on in without too much drama. It's pretty snug, but I spared, <laughs> I spared you watching me crank on this. I'm sure there are plenty of videos out there that will show you if you're lost and need instruction, but it is on there. And just one quick tip I'm using, uh, since I do not have a micrometer of any kind, uh, you know, use your eyes as best you can to size up, looking at different angles from the front from the rear, from the top. And then this is the factory rear sight and it has this metal base and then turns to plastic right there. And when I take that and insert it into the original, into the dovetail there, it exactly lines up. I don't know if the light's gonna show that, but the, the little metal piece lines up right at the edge and if i flip it around and put it on the dovetail on that side it's in the same spot so from here the only way to tell you know, i'm just gonna have to get it to the range and see if i need to make any kind of micro adjustments and again obviously the front sight is stationary so i don't have to worry about that and the next step is to go ahead and remove these drop a little loctite in crank them down and insert my fiber rods. So I'll get right back at you. All right, so there it was. If you stuck it out this far, thank you so much. Y'all are my ride or die folks. <laughs> thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters and everyone who's kicking down through buy me a coffee. Y'all are keeping the dream alive. Until next time, be easy, y'all.